good morning youtube it's black tiger miner here and today we're talking about what is carlson carlston carlson network this asic resistant fork of caspa i've been getting a lot of questions about it so let's get to it so first off i found this article on media uh, media.com wants you to create a account and uh, I guess uh, pay. So I just got a free account. So I don't know how much information we're going to get, but I wanted to get some background on this. So Carlson Network KLS is a ASIC resistant fork of CASPA. And I know we needed that, but hey, things are moving quickly here, guys. So we've got to just try to keep up. Carlson Network is the Carlson coin KLS is a new project that is forked from caspa with a modified proof of work algorithm called carson hash just making a note of something real quick uh that presents prevents asic uh kas asics to mine the coin the project is still new and early and not much information is available that's for sure i've been looking everywhere and Outside of this article and this uh, thing I found on Twitter, their Twitter account, there is nothing about this. And we'll show a video later from uh, Son of Tech where he goes over installing the wallet, which is also another um, not so straightforward process. Excuse me. Uh, not information. So. You should treat with caution and always if installing a local wallet or node in a sandbox environment just to be safe side. And I've been seeing this a lot. Everybody's saying, don't put this on your main machine. Put it on a side machine or a machine that's not used or something that doesn't have your information, which kind of throws a red flag. But I'm just researching. I hadn't installed this or even set this up yet. The project has caught a lot of attention from crypto miners. Of course, Black Tiger Miner. Um, and a lot of GPU mining power is being sent over to mine KLS coin. 50 coins per block with one second block time. There are still no exchanges available. Yeah, I looked for that too. That support KLS but you can mine with local node and wallet and there's already pools supporting uh carlson network popping up like hero miners and big shout out to hero miners hero miners is freaking pulling everything any coin or anything that has uh mining gpu capability or asic capability hero miner is on it so shout out to hero miners those guys are definitely keeping the gpu miners or miners in general in business because these guys pull everything uh the latest version of srb miner multi has been added to support mining kls coins with the new algorithm one percent dev fee of course and you can use the same settings you use for uh, ks mining on your gpus below you can find a quick guide that will prepare to set up local Carlson network node and create a local wallet you can mine KLS to if you're interested in getting started. So again, this is not financial advice, but I'm costing you guys. Um, personally, I don't mind anything that's not on an exchange, right? I did that with, um, I think I got in with Vertcoin and I got in with uh, Meowcoin. So Meowcoin, uh, Got locked out of my wallet, so I have a whole lot of Meow coin I can't do anything with. And with Vertcoin, I was mining it, but I couldn't do anything with it, right? I couldn't put it on exchange, and I couldn't um, exchange it because the purpose was I mine coins and exchange it to Casper or something else. But I couldn't do anything with the Vertcoin because it wasn't on exchange. I think now uh, Vertcoin is on Trade Ogre. So I can mine it and exchange it on Trade Ogre. But uh, with the, what was that other token we just talked about? Um, there is a new coin that, uh, yeah, 
Nero AI, I've been mining that. So with Nero AI, I can exchange it on Trade Ogre. And with uh, Vertcoin, you can do Trade Ogre. And I need to check to see if this KLS is on uh, Trade Ogre. I'll make an update for that later. So quick guide, download the latest network node and wallet from GitHub. Unzip download. Run wallet create. You create a local wallet. Uh, get keys, JSON files. Uh, run wallet dump, uncrypt. Run this. Set up a local node. Get the wallet ready. Generate wallet address. Uh, check balance. And a lot of this is um, command line. And that's another thing. I'm going to wait for a wallet uh, to come out that's not command line. Not that I don't trust command line. It's just like this is actual command. So it gets kind of iffy when you're doing command line. I mean, I have um, a background in data analysis and machine learning and uh, data engineering. And I'm a data architect. So command line is not a big deal for me. But uh, I'm just kind of cautious of getting too deep in too early. So let me know what you guys think about that. And what do you think about this Carlson Network KLS? And then if we go to, um, this is Twitter. And they actually have a Twitter page. So don't forget to come to Black Tiger Miner and join the Twitter for more information. So this is Carlson Network KLS only OTC ATM. I don't know what that means. Don't worry, we're coming for you. And this is a old, dusty, crusty GPU. And that looks like a 3070 or maybe a 6600 or 6700. Let me know what you guys think about that or what you think this is in the comments but uh so i found this this is a uh, caspa insider uh a cast for called the carlson's so this is their page what is carlson network we are a fork of caspa with asic resistance we are a community driven project no ico no premier premier i don't know but uh let me see. This is the actual page, CarsonCoin.com. And if you notice, there's not a whole lot here, which is also another flag, right? There's another red flag. I don't know that I trust this yet, but I'm still researching it, so I'll let you guys know. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys are mining uh, Carson or what do you think about Carson. If it's a good idea, a bad idea, or if more research is needed. and you guys are turning this into a full-time job. Between this Carlson and this Nero and another couple of GPU um, ASIC resistant uh, mining, I'm doing a lot of research here, right? This is a lot of time. So uh, if you do, let me shout out to drop a couple of tokens in that cash wallet, right? This is a lot of research and I'm just trying to help you guys out. So support the channel. And support Black Tiger Miner. Um, I'm trying to keep you guys from some of the pitfalls that I have made in the past. Or some of the problems that I've ran into. Or just save you guys some time. Because a lot of this research is time consuming. And some of these um, crypto exchanges and networks and different things are scams. So i say probably 70% of crypto is a scam or a pump and dump or a rabbit hole. So I'm trying to help you guys avoid a lot of these scams and rabbit holes or stuff that just doesn't make sense. So don't forget to drop a couple of uh, cash tokens in that wallet address in the link. I don't say that you have to uh, fund the whole operation, but a, a token here or there or a couple tokens, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to break the bank, right? But... Either way, moving forward. Uh, Carson, a fork of the Casper cryptocurrency, is committed to decentralization and innovation. We believe small miners, not large farms, should power the network. To achieve this, we've made a Carson ASIC resistant 
ensuring that it remains accessible to anyone. We're also exploring how to integrate ERC-20 equivalent tokens into Carson. And I want to say ERC-20 is Ethereum, I think. I don't know. We have to go back and check, but I think it is Ethereum. This will enable developers to build innovation applications on Carlson. For more details, see the upcoming white paper. So here we go again with another project that doesn't have a white paper. And then this is the GitHub link. And this is the, I guess, the source code. Uh, roadmap, build a network and community, optimize the hashing algorithm, work on token implementation. And this is the Explorer. So this is the dashboard. This is the blocks. So apparently someone is mining this. And this is transactions. So it looks like people are buying it. Or it must be mining it, right? Because how can you buy it if it's not uh, there yet? So it looks like there is some activity here. And this is the dashboard. Uh, total uh circling supply is 112 million uh let's see what is this billion max is billion let's see thousand yeah billion percent mine is 2.27 this is the lowest i've seen anything percent mined so um uh, keep an eye out on that either block reward is 15 kls uh reward is what zero five twenty four oh the next reduction i'm about to say that's a long time but yeah the next reduction is uh may 5th i think uh 2024 uh carson mainnet block count headers hash rate 31.37 terahash it's kind of a lot for not a whole lot on the pool yet. Huh. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think about that as well. Uh, Yeti is doing an audit. We want to rely on small miners that are big farms, Casper, ASIC resistance, with Carlson, and will enforce the resistance. Our second motivation work with token integration EC20. And I think this is just someone going over. Yeah, I think Yeti's doing some uh, hardware uh, auditing on the token. And I didn't have time to really go through this to see. Okay, here we go. So, uh, things to note, talk about. Website, website incomplete, lacking basic information about the project, missing white paper, missing basic information about tokenomics, no information for miners on how to set up their miner to be able to actually mine the coin, three options on a single page doesn't correctly describe the roadmap, roadmaps are meant to be deadlines around when you're expected to deliver these items. So that's a pretty good. So this is Yeti's uh, audit of the process. So let me know what you guys think about that as well. And I got a quick video from, who is this? Uh, Son of Tech, where he sets up the wallet. And it's kind of not that straightforward. So I'm going to play this and be back shortly. And we're going to be getting the win 64 zip version. We're going to go ahead and click it. When it asks us to save it, we do want to save it to that new folder that we created. And that will make sure that we don't have it deleted on us. And we'll click save. All right. Now that that is downloaded, we're going to go ahead and double click. We're going to then open this file or folder. And we're going to right click and say, extract all i'm going to say browse and then just select that carlson folder again and that way it'll just put the binaries directly in that carlson folder as you can see 
makes it just a little bit easier for us as far as this is concerned. So now the next step that we are going to do is create a batch file. So what I'm going to do is just say right click and then new and then text document. I'm going to name it Carl send meaning Carl send Damon. And then I'm going to change the last three dot txt to batch. If you can't find the extension, you will need to basically go into your show hidden files in file explorer options. And then from here, you will see under file explorer options under system, you have the option to show file extension. So if you don't see the .txt, you need to come in here and change that. So now we're going to right click and we're going to edit. You can just edit with a notepad as well. Just right click edit and it'll open it up in your notepad here. It'll be a clean document. We're going to go ahead and paste this in and it'll be the colon XXX and then Carl send.exe dash dash UTXO index and the go to XX. This will just restart it uh, in the case that it's not running. It still won't start on startup. That would be a different process, but then we can do a control S or a file and save and that batch file will be ready to execute. So at this point we can double click the batch file to begin executing it. We'll need to allow the app access and then it will begin to sync. This syncing time can take a couple hours. So right now, because it is building, you're just going to need to give it some time to go ahead and sync. But that doesn't mean that you can't go ahead and get your wallet address added. So the way we can get a wallet address is we're going to copy right here the, the path to our binaries and we're going to run open a new tab and we're going to say change direct well we need to open a new command prompt tab so we can click this little down arrow windows 11 click command prompt cd for a change directory and then we'll just right click what we copied from the other spot and press enter and you can see here now we are in this directory so if we run a dir command dir or directory command you'll see that we have all the executables here that we are looking for. So the next step is to go ahead and create the wallet. We are going to go ahead and get it running, but it won't be synced. So you have to wait for the full sync to actually do any transactions or anything like that, but you can still create the wallet and generate the address. So the first thing we need to do is create a wallet. To do that, we're gonna do Carlson wallet.executable and then the create wallet command with just create. We'll ask you for a password. You'll type in a password and then press enter twice. And then it will give you an extended public key. And then it'll give you a couple instructions here. So you need to get your secret key. So to get your secret key, what you're going to do is copy this. And then you're going to right click it. That will copy it and then right click again. And that will paste it into the actual deal there and you can press enter and it will ask you if you want to continue and you'll press yes you will type in your password and then once you do that this is your mnemonic phrase so what you'll want to do is highlight it right click it we'll open a notepad say file and new tab we'll paste that into here and then we'll just say file and save as you can go to your desktop and then wherever you want to save it that's safe and just name it, you know, seed phrase or whatever and press save. I recommend putting it on, of course, a encrypted drive or at the very least, if you just want to, you can write it down and put it in a safe. That would be the safest way to store it, but don't store it anywhere in the public eye because that has access to all of your information. So. Next, what we are going to need to do is open another command prompt here. We're going to go back and copy the directory out again and change directory into there. And at this point, we can start the daemon. So if we run a directory command, you can see here we have the Carlson wallet. We'll highlight that, right click, and then right click again. And that's an easy way to go ahead and add it in. And then we're going to say start daemon and press enter. 
And the wallet will sync, but that doesn't mean that your nodes sync. And the wallet is syncing to the node. So for you to be able to actually send transactions, et cetera, or check your balance, you'll have to still wait until the node is completely synced. But what you can do now, once that is running, is that you can get your new address. So you see here, that's going to be the Carlson wallet space new address. Highlight that, right click, and then press enter. You can begin mining to this address right away before your node is synced. Like I said, you just won't be able to send any transactions out or check your balances or anything like that. To check your balances, you can just highlight the wallet command again do space and then you can do balance and it'll give you the balance there of course we don't have anything in there nor is the node synced at this time but it'll give you the balance later on once your node is completely synced in addition to that if you're trying to send it to an exchange later there are commands to go ahead and send that out and to do that what you would do is basically run the Carlson wallet again, and then you would do send and then dash V, the amount of Caspa you want to send, like whatever that is, 1000. And then you would do the space and the dash T, and you would put the wallet address of the exchange wallet you're trying to send to for an example or to whoever you're trying to send it to and then you would press enter and it will send that out so that's how you send that's how you check your wallet balance and then of course that is how you create your wallet address for my okay guys so that last two parts how you create the wallet address and how you send it to mining that's kind of what has me waiting on another wallet right uh, i tried this before well, actually i've done it before and it works but it's kind of hit or miss and it's not that straightforward so i'm waiting for a, a web-based wallet or a, a gui wallet or something that has more than just command line so i'm not sure what you guys think about that or how you feel about the carlson but let me know, guys. Give me some comments. We need to know. I want the community talking about it. I want to figure out if you think it's a good idea, bad idea, or what you think about it. Uh, I'm just trying to gather information. And at some point, I guess we'll go back to Neuro and then another Caspa video. But I'm just trying to keep track of everything Caspa, right? Remember, Caspa, Caspa, Caspa. So I want to get as much as we can about Caspa. So we can keep track of this as it goes forward. Because as you can see, the project's definitely taken off, right? We got a fork. Uh, someone mentioned there are two NTPs coming out. NT ETPs coming out. And some other projects are on the works as well. But let me know what you think about that. Uh, happy Friday. Remember, Casper, Casper, Casper. Don't forget to... Uh, Throw a couple tokens in that wallet address and uh, let's get back to the money, guys.